Hello and welcome to the video. This is Matthew and we're going to look at question 5 which is a 30 mark question on sequences and series. So question 5 part A is worth 10 marks and it says that show by using an infinite geometric series that 0.18 continuous, that 0 0.18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 and so on can be written as 2 over 11. So the first thing to do is to write that 0 0.18 with two dots above it as 0 0.18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 and so on. And now I'm going to rewrite that as 0 0.18 plus 0 0.0018 plus 0 0.000018, so on. So this is an example of a geometric series. So the 0 0.18 plus 0 0.0018 plus 0 0.000018 uh, so on. So that's a geometric series as we're adding all the terms together and each term is increasing by a multiple. So this is going to be a sum to infinity and it tells us to use an infinite geometric series and then we can hopefully be able to show that it's equal to 2 over 11. So we can use the formula now for an infinite geometric series which is on page 22 of our formula and tables book to work this out. So it's this formula right here. So s to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus or where a is the first term and then or is the common ratio in other words or is the ratio between two consecutive terms so now let's go back to our question and work out our a and our or to work out or sum to infinity so this part here is the geometric series so our first term there is 0 0.18 and now to work out our or, you can divide one term by the term before it. So in other words, or is going to be equal to T2 divided by T1, which in turn will be equal to T3 divided by T2. So basically, or is equal to Tn divided by Tn minus 1. So that's your formula for or. So I'm going to take T2 and divide it by T1. So T2 is just the second term, so it's 0 0.0018. And I'm going to divide that by 0 0.18. I get 1 over 100, which is equal to 0 0.01. So therefore, or is equal to 0 0.01. So now remember, our formula was, a over 1 minus or so now it's going to be 0 0.18 over 1 minus 0 0.01 so now let's put that into our calculator and we get 2 over 11 so there we've shown that 0 0.18 18 18 18 18 18 so on can be written as 2 over 11 and that's our answer for question 5 part a we're now going to have a look at part b which is also worth 10 marks so part b tells us that s of n is the sum of a geometric series where the first term in the series is a and the common ratio is or this means that s of n is equal to a plus a times by or plus a or squared plus and then all the way up to a or to the power of n minus 1 so we're going to fix that there's a typo on the paper that's supposed to be a or to the power of n minus 1 so let's watch out for that and then using this we have to prove that s n is equal to a times by 1 minus or to the power of n over 1 minus or. So the first thing to note here is that sn is equal to a plus a or plus a or squared plus and then all the way up to a or to the power of n minus 1. So now I'm going to multiply everything by or both sides which gives or times by sn is equal to a or plus a or squared plus a or cubed plus and then all the way up to a or to the power of n. We're going to call this first equation here equation 1 and this is going to be equation 2 and now we're going to minus equation 2 from equation 1. That's going to be sn minus or times by sn which means everything will cancel except the a at the start here and the a or to the power of n at the end here. However, everything else will cancel. So now I'm going to factorize both sides. So I'll get sn outside of 1 minus or and that'll be equal to a outside side of 1 minus or to the power of n. So that gives me sn by 1 minus or is equal to a times by 1 minus or to the power of n. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 1 minus or which will give me sn is equal to a times by 1 minus or to the power of n over 1 minus or. And that's exactly what we had to prove. So we've proven that sn is equal to a times by 1 minus or to the power of n over 1 minus or. And that's our answer for part b. And now we're going to have a look at part c, which is also worth 10 marks. And this says, hence or otherwise, prove that the sum to infinity of a geometric series can be written as s infinity is equal to a over 1 minus or. So basically, to prove s to infinity, we're going to get the limit as n tends to infinity, as the sum to infinity of a geometric series will just be as n keeps increasing all the way to infinity. So the only term here with the n in it is or to the power of n. So we have to work out the limit as n tends to infinity infinity of or to the power of n and the limit as n tends to infinity of or to the power of n so as n keeps increasing that's going to go to just zero which means we're left with s to infinity is equal to a times by 1 minus 0 over 1 minus or and obviously a times by 1 minus 0 is just a over 1 minus or so therefore s infinity is equal to a over 1 minus or and that's our answer for part c of the question the final part of the question and the end of the video so thank you very much for watching and i hope i helped